hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be completing the trial of logistic regression we are going to be talking about the ordinal logistic regression in the past two videos we've talked about the binary logistic regression and the multi-nominal logistic regression if you haven't checked that video please make sure you actually check that right away before watching this video they kind of have similar steps and um, output okay so for our ordinal logistic regression it is actually similar to the binary and the multinomial in the sense that the dependence variable still have to be categorical in nature but this time it has to be ordinal uh, so a variable is said to be on the ordinal scale if it actually has a rank attached to it example of variables on the ordinal scale include the military rank we have the satisfactory rating we also have the education level just to mention a few so i'll be using this simple sample data here of a restaurant that sells a burger so we have just five variables right here we have the quantity which is the number of burger that uh, a customer actually uh, orders or buy then we have the other size is it big is it small or is it medium we have the gender of the customer we have the satisfactory rating either satisfied or not satisfied and we have the price that the paid for their order so for us to perform an ordinal logistic regression it's still the same step we come to analyze uh, and then we come to the regression okay then we have the ordinal uh, logistic regression right here written as ordinal okay we click on that and uh, it brings out this dialogue okay uh, just like how we had for the just like how we had it for the multinominal logistic regression, our dependence variable goes here. In this case, it has to be an ordinal dependent variable. So we have the factors which is going to be taking uh, the categorical variables, that is those variables that cannot take a numerical value. So our correlate is going to be taking in the independent variable. And in this case, this variable should be numerical in nature. So the dependent variable right here is going to be the other size that is the restaurant is trying to see uh, the size of donuts that will be uh, ordered by the customer so we have the other size right here now for our factors i'll be using gender okay and then i'll be using the satisfactory rating so we have two numerical variables left i would just slot in one first then try to drop in the other later so i'll be using price first okay so we are going to find a relationship between other size gender satisfactory rating and price so for the options we don't need to like touch anything right here it's actually perfect right away the output i think this is also perfect for us nothing really much for us to talk about and then we click on continue then we click on okay so the first output we are actually met with is the case summary the case processing summary rather and it's kind of give us a detail or a summary of all the categorical variables we have a total of six bigs uh six medium eight small for gender we have nine females we have 11 males uh for the satisfactory rating we have nine satisfied we have 11 to be sorry for the satisfactory rating we have nine to be not satisfied rather and we have 11 to be satisfied and then there are no valid sorry there are no missing values and everything is actually valid so that's 20 and right here we have the model fitting information and um this is the number we are actually paying attention to we are using the minus two log likelihood uh, parameter right here if you can remember vividly when we're working with the multinominal logistic regression we use the AIC which is the archaic information criteria to get our model fitting information in this case you're going to be using the minus two log likelihood and this is the uh, detail right here the lesser this number the more accurate your model is and the higher the number the less accurate your model is okay so we come to the goodness fit and this is just a chi square test for goodness fit which tells us how much our sample data can actually fit into a normally distributed data and uh, the test statistics is actually 38.322 at a p value of 0 0.321 it also implies that our sample data is not significant that is we can't fit uh, our sample data into a normal distribution all right so we have the studio r squared and uh, we have three of them we have the cork and snail we have the negel kirk and we have the mcfeeding uh, the mcfeeding rather 
and uh, I used the Negel Kek in the past two videos, so I'll be using the Negel Kek right here. So um, that's 0 0.234, which simply means uh, the variation in the dependence variable in the other size can be explained by the independence variable at a 23.4 percent percentage okay so that is that about that then we come to the parameter estimate and we can see we have the estimate we have the standard error we have the world which is the test statistics we have our degree of freedom we have our significance and we have the 95 percent confidence interval okay so right here we have the price uh, we have our gender and then we have our satisfactory rating and as we can see the price is actually not significant with the other size uh, the gender is also not significant with the other size and uh, the satisfactory rating is also not significant with the other size so why not let us introduce one more variable and see if it's going to change the outlook of this model so we come to analyze regression ordinal and then we can drop in the quantity and you can decide to remove one of those still fine by you if you want to uh, we click on ok and it runs the test it gives us um the uh, the case processing summary which we don't really need right now all right so right here the final model fitting information for the minus two log likelihood is at 35.158 i think for the previous one it was actually 38.910 so that means that it's reduced a bit so that means that introducing the price actually kind of fits in and increase the the accuracy of our model that's a good thing okay so for the goodness of it our test statistics is actually 34.254 it is actually still not significant and uh, because we have 0 0.456 which is greater than the level of significance so that simply means that our sample data still doesn't fit to a normally distributed data so when we come to the studio r squared we can see that the negel keg r squared has actually increased a bit we have 0 0.387 right here and for the previous model we have a 0 0.234 so that means our model has actually also increased and uh right here we can see that at a five percent level of significance uh the price is actually significant to the other size which simply makes sense because the higher the size of the burger you are ordering the more price or the more price is going to get or the more money you're going to pay for it uh the quantity is also a little bit not significant with uh the other size uh the gender is also not significant with the other size and the satisfactory rating is also not significant with the other size and this is how you can build an ordinal logistic regression model in spss if you learned something new from this video and you also enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel do you think i missed something or you have some questions for me please go down to the comment section and drop your questions i'll be willing and be ready to answer all of them thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now